So it's been a crazy couple of days because Fee's 21st birthday. So we've had like out for dinner, family over all day yesterday. So today is kind of back, back to reality. It's early Sunday morning and where are we going, Fee? Going jumping, but ignore the state. <laughs> we're gonna go she's just making herself a nice cup of tea we are going jumping at our local venue brook farm because it'd be really nice when it be to get in um, a quick look session yeah. before we go away you booked yourself in at sunshine tour that you haven't done before well i had my sunshine tour like book in it was all booked in and then they said that i for some reason i must have entered four because i was staying there a few days i must have entered four championship classes and you're only meant to enter three so then I had to change one of them, but obviously they don't, they where they're fully booked, they don't have many classes. And then they said they have a combined training, which is dressage. <laughs> and I've never done a dressage show to Levi. What is it that, cause I love dressage, don't I? What is it that you don't like? Like what, what, what freaks I, you out? I think it's my, where I'm dyslexic. <coughs> my dyslexic, remembering yeah. where I'm going. I know, I don't even know if you can have a caller. I bet that there is um, so many young ladies out there and women and kids of all ages that I've got dyslexia that are absolutely petrified thinking of letters at the dressage, yeah. in the dressage arena and remembering stuff. So, excuse think, all the beer bottles, they're, they're Simon's wear. We had all we had all family around. Yeah, I don't even think it's the test itself. It's like the atmosphere as well. I feel like when you go, everyone's done dressage. They're all in there for a reason. Yeah, but you've got such a trippy little pony that I know. I mean, I'm not being funny. It's not like you don't go every week and school him. But what I do is, mum can get on him and do the test, and then yeah. she can show me. So we haven't actually got a lot of time, but and we haven't. Um, it's got about a week. <laughs> yeah, and we haven't got an arena, um, but I'm gonna make something temporary up this week in one of the fields, so we can run for it. Because obviously I'll be a caller. I'm practicing what test is it? Really Novice. Or is it twenty one? Um, I'm not too sure. Let me have a look. Like that. Novice twenty four. Novice twenty four. So sure yeah, I have got that. So you just quickly show everybody. Um, what you bought for your birthday? My new competition wear. So I bought this Holland and this is all from Wesley Saddlery. Which um, is in Essex. Yeah, in where was it? Billericay. Um so I got this Holland and Cooper show shirt, which is really nice in my back. Oh that's well. lovely. But unfortunately I didn't have any Holland and Cooper um legging like riding bottoms um jobs in my size so i picked up the peculiar ones which because they've got the same sort of gold button so it matched the gold button theme they're nice they're lovely so i like them because they're a bit high-waisted as well and have you got gold piping on there where on the front around the pockets yeah gl like glittery diamonds. yeah really nice and then i got some other bits but i'll show you them at the time tour when i wear them but yeah so Lovely. Really nice, and then I picked up some pins and socks just because everyone needs socks. <laughs> They're pretty. And then I got this Holland and Cooper belt. I'm not too sure if this is actually a bit big for me, but we make it fit. We can take it down. We've got a little um, key shop in our local village, so they we can get them to make another hole. I guess you could put it through like that. Or with or i could just wear it loose once it's all through the buckles it probably looks no up. that needs we, we'll get another bu button hole for front anyway, that one. lovely very smart for today very nice with them <laughs> perfect yeah so we've just got down the farm i'm just going to go check on nebo but my stepdad brought him in today like this morning because I was like iffy, like, do I leave him in tonight? But where he was already out at night, I thought I'll just bring him in the other day. So I brought him in for the day yesterday. Hello. Thanks for that licky, slobbery hand. 
Are you ready to go jumping? Are you? Looks very nice and slim. <laughs> you know, it needs to give that nose a little wipe. It's a little bit dirty. Show your nose. It's a little bit dirty nose. Oh dear. I need to get you ready. I think I'm going to do, I'll probably get my tack ready and then sort him out. He's just in his little clothing moment. Right, let's get our tack. Leave out whatever's dirty and I'll put it in the washing machine. Oh, it's clean. Use that one? Yeah. Or the king's one? No, use that one. It's a nice one. And it's jelly. So we've got numna, jelly, saddle, to be honest, saddle. I think it's that dirty, so. Saddle. I think your boots are around my stable bit. Okay. Um, do I hat. Put it on hat? Yeah. Hat. Put it on On. Right, I'm just going to clean up Nemo's nose <laughs> with some baby wipes because he's got a very dirty nose. Hello, look at the nose. Come here, Nibbles. The dirty. This pony definitely needs a groom. That's from wiping a baby wipe over his body. That is a little tip for anyone. Got a little bit of a, not a dirty dirt, I'm not talking like thick mud on them, but like if they're a little bit dusty, wipe, I'll show you. See this side's a bit dusty? A little tip, just wipe a baby wipe over and it will just get rid of that excess dust. Just like that. Cool. Let's see how much shinier this side is. That was the same as the other side, but it's just shinier because of the baby wipe. So I've just got Nebo on the trailer just because mum's poo picking, so I was on my own to video it. <laughs> I'm just trying to find a bucket to put on the trailer so then I can give him a drink. I think I might just steal Honey's bucket out of her stable. Put that on her trailer. So you can see him like, poking his head out. He's such a good boy though, like when you take him out, you just put him in the trailer, walk straight on, and then he just chills on the trailer. <laughs> hey nibbles. Right, let's put it's Let's put this one in here for your water. And then you've got a little bit of water in there and a sponge stuck to the bottom of it. I don't know why it's stuck to the bottom of it, but to wipe you down with. If you get a little bit sweaty. Hey. And we're off. We have adopted a member. 
little Sophia. Sophia in the back. <laughs> Behind her little mascot. I'm sweating, I need to get this on. It's yeah, so hot. It Look, I've got a cowboy hat that someone's probably yee-hawed it and sat on it at the boot sound. The state of it. Oh, no, my top's so bright that it's not coming up on the camera. Oh, it's like neon. <laughs> You're like an advert for personal. Trust me, with my washing, it won't be like that in the day. Someone actually, it was severe. It was your mum that actually recommended putting bicarbonated soda in with your whites and not fabric conditioner to keep them really white. So Nancy's is going to get me some of that today. So I'm going to give Fifi's whites a go with that, so I can keep them nice and white. But I think it's the bane of every equestrian mum's life and people who do their own washing um, of keeping your whites white so if you've got any recommendations please comment below for Fifi and she will tell me because I am shocking at keeping whites white it's not very great no good luck Fifi So we're just waiting to go into the show. I did end up warming up, but for the wrong class. So, <laughs> but lucky I didn't jump. I was just giving him a little trot round. Walking back to the train. I tried to put him in a bit of shade, but there's not much shade here. Only like where the lorries are. So I've put in a tiny bit of shade. And then I'm gonna get on him in about five, 10 minutes, take him back up and then go in the 80. But he feels a little bit more energetic than usual, which is good. So that means the bee's working. Yeah. So this is us entering our 80 class. I wasn't sure if I was going to do a voiceover or just put this round to music, but I thought because it's our first round and he hasn't been out for a little while while we were trying to figure out his feed and what was going to work out best for him, moving him off the track grass and upping his feed and putting him on a competition mix. Sorry for mum's dodgy angles, it does get better. So in this class, I was just going for a clear. I just wanted one good show before Sunshine Tour because I'm going on holiday and we've got a lot going on. So I just wanted, this was the last show we could get to. So I just wanted to give him a really good show. So this was the start. He was really good. He was travelling forward, which we learned a lot from Harriet when I had my lesson with her, just to keep that forward going canter because when he's got that, he just literally jumps amazing. We had no chipping in, he was on fire. I just feel like I've got my pony back. This is the Nevo I know when he's his little cheeky self and he's just wanting to jump and go forward. So I was super happy at this moment. He was feeling absolutely incredible. This is where the time starts, but you'll probably see I don't take it very tight. I just give him enough room because I was just going for a nice little clear, a nice good show before Sunshine Tour, and he was going absolutely amazing. He was jumping so well. He did land on the wrong leg here, but we managed to sort himself out. But then again, he was just such a good boy. I was just so nervous about going Sunshine Tour because the last few times going out, he's just been a little bit lethargic and not himself. So I just needed this pick-me-up show where he just gave me his all and he really did. He was such a good boy and we got a clear. And he managed to get in the place and we picked up third. I was super, super happy with this little pony. He is honestly the best. We then entered the 90, he was feeling amazing in the warm up, doing his cheeky little bronx and oh, there we go, there's one there. Because <laughs> he jumped so well in the 80, we decided to let him have a little bit of fun and cut some corners, just make sure 
he gets used to using a little bit of a smaller arena where at Sunshine Tour some of the arenas are a little bit smaller than others. So we just wanted to test ourselves and not use the whole arena to see if we can knock some seconds off of our time. So yeah, enjoy. Nebo jumped an amazing clear round and only went and picked up first place. I was super happy with him and he jumped absolutely amazing. He's back. It's yeah, he's back to normal. To Nebo felt really, really good today. He's just back to his normal self where he's getting all like excited to go in the ring. Nice and forward. He was so happy in there. His ears were forward. He you was, did do nice yeah, turn. He, you he uh, done a turn. You kept the can to the same nice and forward. It was flowing. It was lovely. Yeah. There was you no... didn't do silly sharp turns yeah. but you came inside. It was really nice. We, and the so we thing, were going for clears today but and then I thought we just won't. We wanted to knock some seconds knock off some seconds off this. just up the corners and stay a bit closer yeah. to the other jumps rather than I didn't use do any the whole tight arena. turns it was just more of like cutting a bit of space off because it really does like the, fir the first class I went in he I did I went in all my corners in, first class you went in you I used went, the whole arena, the whole arena yeah. and I think I got 37 seconds and he come third and then I didn't actually do any like, proper turns. I just like we didn't do anything in, different apart from not using not the going whole that whole, Like I see, like just coming close to an inside a jump, not actually going the whole way round it. Um, but no, yeah, it gave him a lot of room, and he got thirty seconds instead of thirty-seven. So it actually realised how much time you can knock off being tactical and just not not using the whole arena because he is little. He's a pony. So. Yeah, it's different if you're in a small arena because you've got to use all your corners. But when they're yeah. big arenas, you've got but you've got. To, Really Especially when he's against think, yeah, the think about it. Tools. But that guy that um, recommended our feed at Crown Corn was spot on, wasn't he? Yeah. Really like good. That feed that really, competition he's been on it mix. for three weeks now, so I can give it a true review that it's really, really worth it. What well number is him. it? The number nine Bailey's competition mix. So if you're and looking at Alfre oil. Alfre oil. So what he's getting, he's getting two scoops of Alfre oil from Denji. And then he's getting Bailey's at number nine competition mix, a scoop of that. Your supplement, which he's is doing one. Yeah, days. he's been on his supplement now for hmm, 10 days? Yeah. Nearly two weeks, yeah. yeah. Week and a half. Um, he's been on his joint map supplement, which I think is making a huge difference also, just because it makes him feel good. And yeah, where he's 17 now, he just needs that extra little um, support with each And joints. somebody recommended, I don't know who it was, but with the electrolytes. Harriet. Uh, when I went for my lesson with Harriet, she um, she recommended, she recommended uh, electrolytes, electrolytes in his feed. So I've been using so that. He's got apple lights and he has a little um, tablespoon of that in his feed. And that puts all, all the sweat that he loses. Puts it back in. He puts it back in. It makes him drink more water. So that's been really good as well. So yeah, we are buzzing. Really good show. And it's the last oh, show oh. before we go on holiday. And then we come back for one day and go away for competing. So uh, it was kind of all on this show, wasn't it? If he was going to be back. To yeah, but it was not. just, it's just nice to know that you're going to go away now and have fun and know that he's healthy and he's yeah. feeling good. It really, really, really pleased with Nebo. And like, even like coming out of the second class, like it was all uh, going all jittery and bouncing like going to the car like where last time he was just so lethargic 
So we're going home to have a bit of Sunday lunch uh, yeah. before work tomorrow and chill. Yeah. Well done, Faye. So thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to give me a like, comment and subscribe and follow me on YouTube and Instagram, which is Fifi's underscore Welsh underscore ponies. Bye.